Hey everyone, welcome back to prenatal yoga teacher training. And so today we'll be heading into the prenatal meditations. So as you go through the course, I usually give you, or as you go through the course, there will be a section that will go through the structure of how you teach your prenatal class. And then once you go through the structure, part of the structure is your prenatal meditation. I like to do this in the beginning. You can either put this at the beginning um, or you can put it at the end, or you can do both. So in your course, you'll have a full script of how, um, of what you can say during a prenatal meditation. And the script is very robust. So you can delete or add, or just do a section of the script, but they're merely an example, but feel free to add any of the, um, meditations that you know that pertain to prenatal women or just not prenatal women into the script. So the meditations I recommend for prenatal yoga is a body scan meditation, a love and kindness meditation, a breath awareness meditation, visualization, and womb connection meditation. That's a good one. You can do that one towards the end if you like, or in the beginning and a gratitude meditation. Okay, so all these meditations can be customized to whatever the moms are needing for that day. It could be um, an energy type meditation if they're feeling tired. But these usually, these different categories are a good safe to go to. And you'll when you read it, the script may seem long, but like I said, you can add or delete the things that resonate with you. Okay, so let's go over each one briefly. Um, and you can read this in detail in your course. Okay, so body scan meditation. This meditation, you'll lead the yoga students through a full body scan. The meditation systematically brings awareness to different body parts, help to relax and release tension. Starting from the head, moving all the way down to the toes, the practitioner mentally scans each body part, noticing sensations, consciously releasing tension. The meditation promotes physical relaxation and body awareness. So as you lead the meditation, you'll notice that you'll go through the whole body and sometimes people will drift in and out of the meditation. And then when you come to the part with the baby, you can make it very customized to your prenatal women. So as you inhale, you start to feel your belly rise and baby has more of an expansive space. And then as you exhale, you allow yourself to hug baby in. And so that'll be an example of how you customize a body scan meditation. This one is actually really good towards the end for Shavasana, but um, if you want to use it in the beginning, maybe you just kind of do it when they're seated, that works too. The next one is love and kindness meditation. This is also known as a meta meditation. I'm just reading from our um, course material. This practice cultivates feelings of love, compassion, well wishes towards oneself and the baby and others. The practitioner silently repeats positive phrases or affirmations such as, may I be happy, may my baby be healthy, may all beings be safe and protected. The meditation fosters emotional well-being, self-love and connection with the growing baby. So I really love this one. Um, positive affirmations is my favorite part of it. And some of them that you can incorporate in the prenatal yoga is I have enough energy for myself and my baby, especially when they're kind of going towards the end and they're a bit tired. Um, I am strong. I am capable. That's another good positive affirmation. Um, you can also do sending love and kindness to my baby, love, warmth, health. Those are very good love and kindness uh, meditation um, things that you can say. This one's great for the beginning of class. The next one is similar to pranayama practice. Uh, it's breath awareness meditation. So basically this meditation is focusing on the breath. You can, um, you can remind the students to keep the breath just as it is. Or you can incorporate this into just the same breathing practice that I will tell you about later. Okay. Visualization. Okay. Visualization is a great one. 
I'll just read what it says in the course that I have here. Visualization involves using the power of imagination to create mental images that promote relaxation, connection, and positive emotions. Examples of prenatal visualization include imagining a warm golden light surrounding the baby, a safe and peaceful birthing environment, or envisioning a strong and healthy connection between mom and baby. This one kind of goes with hypnobirthing. Um, you can look up hypnobirthing. It's, it's a concept where you're meditating through your birth and really focused and then also having positive affirmations. Um, like basically when a contraction comes, you say this surge, instead of contraction, you say this surge is bringing me closer and closer to meeting my baby. So this one you can actually use and have the women envision their birth. Have the women envision a, what I did when I was pregnant was I would envision a fast, easy birth and just myself being in my most strongest uh, power going through um, delivering my baby. So that's some type of visualization that you can provide and talk them through during that meditation. The last meditation is a womb connection meditation. This one's my favorite because this one's just the best way to bring baby um, into the yoga class and incorporate the baby into the yoga class. This meditation encourages pregnant women to connect with their womb space and growing babies. It involves placing the hand on the, on the belly, taking a deep belly, taking deep belly breaths, and directing love, nurturing energy, and positive thoughts towards baby. This meditation helps foster a deep bond between mother and the baby. This one's great because maybe they're at the first trimester stage where they don't really feel anything, but they can still talk to the baby through the womb connection meditation, just sending the energy down to the baby. And one cool thing is that when you're pregnant, you, your brain and baby's brain is one. Okay. So I thought that was pretty cool. So whatever thoughts, positive thoughts you have during the pregnancy or that you're leading during your class, you can allow the moms, encourage the moms to send those positive energies down to their baby. And then they, the baby also may get those thoughts as well. Okay, and then the next one, this one's the easiest one, every yoga class has this one, is gratitude meditation. This one is great, especially if they're having maybe a not so great trimester or first trimester and they're feeling nauseous, or maybe they're towards the end, they're a little bit tired or kind of achy in their body. This one's great because it takes them out of any of those complaining modes into noticing all the things um, that are going well. Like maybe they have a help, helpful partner or they're just so grateful that their body is able to foster a baby. Okay, so gratitude meditation focuses on cultivating feelings of gratitude and appreciation. The practitioner reflects on things that they are grateful for during pregnancy, such as the ability to carry a child, support of loved ones, the miracle of life. This meditation promotes a positive mindset, emotional well-being, and a sense of abundance. That one's a great one. Very easy to lead that one as well. If you have any questions about how to lead any of these um, meditation scripts, or if you want to hear me say one of the meditation scripts, leave a comment, let me know. And any questions, uh, leave a comment, let me know. <laughs> and I will be going on to the next section. Maybe I'll post one tomorrow. All right. Catch you later.